Miss Marcia. Some of you will remember me from camp in the craft room. And we are going to do painting skills this morning. And we are going to do something different. So you will need an apron because we're going to paint. You will need poster paint. This one says tempera. Paint, poster paint and tempera are the exact same thing. They just use a different name. Walmart, Holly Lobby, Joann's, you can get these. And you don't have to have a big bottle. You can get a small bottle. Then you need either, you need paper plates, or it doesn't have to be paper. It can be, it can be a real plate, but you have to get permission from mom. But paper plates or styrofoam plates, so they're flat. You need knives or spoons, either one, and I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, string. This is going to be a string art, so you need string. This is string that's thicker. This is thin string. Some of you probably have cat food or dog food that has string across the top, and you pull the string and you can save that string for this project. Okay, I think that's all we need. Paper. We need paper. This is cardstock. See, it's heavier than this piece. This piece is copy paper, like you have at school or maybe your mom has some. Either one, you can get Walmart. You can get it. Um, what's the store? Office Depot. <laughs> okay. So this is a sample of what we're going to do. This is our string art. This one. We're going to start now. First thing you want to do is take your poster paint. It is water paint, and so you don't really have to worry about it. Make a puddle in the middle of your uh, plate. And you can use any colors. These are the colors I have. Doesn't matter. White looks pretty on different colored paper. So. Okay. Cut your string longer than your paper. You have to have handles on each end to hold. So cut it longer. And for every color of paint, you will need a piece of string because you're not going to mix the string. Okie doke. Yeah, here's the fun part. Lay your string in the paint, but you've got to leave a handle. You can't put paint all the way to the end. Now the knife is to drag it through the paint. Because if you didn't have the knife, you'd have to use your fingers. Now, hold both ends tight like this. Lay it on your paper. Oh, I got something on my paper. Okay. Ah, I splattered. That's just part of the design. This is a design deal. Then when you run out of paint, or you think you've run out of paint, try to go through again. It's messy, so you're going to have to have some space. You can move. Actually, if you want to, you can even make a circle. Okay, let's try blue.
end of Legos. You don't need very much or else you just get big old blotches. So you could dab this with your knife probably if you don't have it painted. And then, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. But you'll have to do it again. Or we can change colors. Wipe it on your paper. Oh, I don't, I need another brush. Oh, yellow doesn't work. Did I just tell you that? Let's see if it does. Oh, it does a little. Not very much, so. Okay, you get the idea? And you can, here's another idea. This is a vase with a pattern on the bottom. And just paint the corners just a little bit. You might have a glass at home or something you can paint. It comes right off, remember, it's watercolor. Okay, let's try that. Where are we going to put that? And it doesn't always come out the way you think, but you just have to leave. If you try to correct it, you usually end up with a big mistake. The other thing that I did, looky here, I cut a potato in half and made a design. And you can dip it in paint, but again, don't put too much or then it it blotches instead of makes a design. Okay, let's try this one. Where are we going to put this one? Ah, looky there. It's better the second time, isn't it? See what you can do? All kinds of designs. But do not try to correct it because it's just going to be the way it is or it'll get all blotchy. Okay, now here's what I did, and once it's dry, you can make a greeting card out of it. Because we have COVID-19, people are staying home, so you can greet people by sending them a card. Fold it in half, you can open it up and write on top of your design, but you gotta wait till it dries. So you could say, with a magic marker, you can say, missing you. And then you can open it up and sign your name or give a message. I wish we could play together. I wish we were together, but we're not, so hi. And then sign your name and mail it. But it's gotta be dry now. You can't do it while it's wet. I hope you enjoy this. I think you can all do it. And you can send your project to camp at campcrosspoint.org and show us what you've done. And, and if you make a potato print, this is a print by the way, you can send that too and show us what it looks like. Thank you, bye bye.